marine aquaculture in Andalusia. Quality and potential. The beginning of aquaculture in Andalusia first arose in the salt marshes as a secondary activity. The process was developed in the estuaries, in areas which were originally devoted to retaining the water. This was where the young fish of various species were to be found and which were caught in their natural surroundings by means of a system of sluice gates which channeled the flow of the tides. In these natural surroundings, the different species were caught when they reached the right size for consumption. This is a traditional method which has hardly changed over time and whose quality stands out thanks to the rich biology of the environment, the natural methods of catching the fish and the short time between netting and their consumption. In the 1970s, research centers and leading fish companies managed to successfully discover the reproductive cycle boosting production thanks to the artificial seeding of young fish, principally the gilthead sea bream. A similar process took place for cultivating bivalve mollusks with intensive seafood production by means of the introduction of fish seeds of different species in the intertidal zones. Los acuicultores andaluces han sido pioneros en el desarrollo de nuevas especies y nuevas técnicas de cultivo, principalmente desde los años 70 del pasado siglo. Ese auge de la acuicultura que hubo en esos años, junto con el buen hacer de los empresarios de acuicultura, ha contribuido a un importante desarrollo de la acuicultura marina en Andalucía, hasta el punto que consideramos que ha sido Andalucía la locomotora para el desarrollo de la acuicultura en otras regiones. From the point of view of aquacultural exploitation in Andalusia, two zones can be distinguished. The South Atlantic coast, where cultivation takes place in the wetlands, salt marshes and intertidal parks. And the Southern Mediterranean strip, where cultivation is carried out in the open sea. The abundance of natural habitats in Andalusia means that over 80% of the activity is located in protected nature reserves. Marine aquaculture in Andalusia has focused principally on rearing economically viable fish, such as the sea bream and sea bass. Nonetheless, research has made it possible to begin a process of diversification with new species such as sole, croakerfish and seriola among others. Bivalve mollusks such as the mussel are produced on our coast using wooden platforms and long lines as well as Pacific oysters and other commercially viable species. Clams are produced in intertidal parks along the coasts of Cadiz and Huelva. In Europe, the most important production of crustaceans such as king prawns and shrimps takes place in the South Atlantic region. farming of microalgae is carried out in modern installations. This is a recent development which aims above all to use them as a food source in fish and mollusk farms. Among the breeding systems employed as well as those situated on the land the most outstanding are the floating and submerged farms, installations located in the sea, such as those situated five miles from the coast of Conil and which are pioneers in Spain.
This marine farm, pertaining to the Connell Fisherman's Fraternity, is a benchmark for its characteristics and for developing integrated aquaculture, mixing the farming of fish and mollusks. The Andalusian aquacultural sector is fundamentally composed of small and medium-sized enterprises, which in 2010 achieved a production of 8,000 tons, of which 88% were fish. The majority of the installations are located on land. In 2010, the Andalusian hatcheries produce more than 28 million fish roe, mollusk seeds and post-larva crustaceans. Nuestra asociación la componen cerca de 100 empresas que se dedican no solo a la producción, sino también a otras actividades relacionadas con nuestro sector. Las características específicas de la acuicultura en Andalucía radican en que desde los orígenes hemos estado situados en terrenos de una gran fragilidad medioambiental. Desde el principio hemos estado completamente convencidos de que si no manteníamos y mejorábamos el medio ambiente, nosotros no podríamos seguir produciendo en esta zona. Se están produciendo muchas iniciativas en las empresas productoras andaluzas que inciden en la mejora de la calidad, no en la cantidad. Nosotros no estamos haciendo unas grandes producciones, pero las estamos haciendo de categoría superior. Las empresas andaluzas pensamos que el futuro de la acuicultura va a venir definida por cinco parámetros. La calidad, el control sanitario, el respeto medioambiental, la diversificación de especies y la investigación. Aquaculture in Andalusia has been developed in accordance with the criteria of quality, health and animal welfare. From the products marketed under the name Estuary Fish to those with the designation Southern Bread Sea Bream, the outstanding freshness and high nutritional value are guaranteed thanks to the production control and traceability systems in place. We should also highlight the work performed by the Andalusian aquacultural sector, which is immersed in a constant adaptation with respect to compliance with the strict regulations in aquaculture and to the needs of an ever more demanding market. On the other hand, the Department of Agriculture and Fisheries, a pioneer in defining the regulations on ecological production of aquacultural foodstuffs, has made it possible to adapt to the new regulatory framework, offering the sector new developmental and business opportunities. Research is a key factor in modern quality aquaculture. The Andalusian Institute for Research and Agrarian Fishing and Food Training and for Ecological Production as part of the Department of Agriculture and Fisheries, is responsible for generating scientific knowledge and technical information, which makes it possible to optimize cultivation techniques and transfer production technologies to the enterprises. Likewise, we should emphasize the contribution of several university departments and the centers of the Spanish Oceanography Institute and of the Higher Council for Scientific Research. recent creation of the Technological Foundation Center for Andalusian Aquaculture makes it possible to channel the processes of competitive innovation of the companies in response to the needs identified by the sector. El apoyo que la Junta de Andalucía a través de la Consejería de Agricultura y Pesca está prestando a los acuicultores andaluces podemos eh, distinguirlo de en dos vertientes. Por un lado, actualmente disponemos de un, un apoyo financiero, un escenario financiero muy favorable a través del Fondo Europeo de la Pesca, en el que se pueden presentar proyectos, nuevos proyectos productivos y la Consejería de Agricultura y Pesca, tras su análisis, lo subvencionaría con un porcentaje que puede llegar hasta el 60%. Ese escenario financiero favorable se ve acompañado por eh, el diseño o la elaboración de un documento 
que marca cuáles son las zonas más idóneas para la acuicultura en Andalucía. Eh, todo ese escenario, eh, desde luego, hace que Andalucía sea una región atractiva para el desarrollo de nuevas especies o nuevos proyectos productivos en acuicultura. The department participates in the plans of the National Advisory Board on Marine Farming, promoted by the Ministry of the Environment, Rural and Marine Affairs, developing, together with other autonomous regions, projects of interest to the sector. Estoy segura que la apuesta que hace la Consejería por el futuro de la acuicultura, unida al buen hacer de los empresarios andaluces, pondrán a Andalucía de nuevo en la primera línea de salida de la acuicultura mundial. The Department of Agriculture and Fisheries focuses its efforts on adapting the administration framework in order to promote aquaculture by supporting private enterprise in order to achieve control, sustainable growth, fostering competition in the sector and improving the image of aquaculture. A technically viable aquaculture which respects the ecosystems and in accordance with the wishes of the towns in which it is carried out and to which it gives economic stability. For all these reasons, the Department of Agriculture and Fisheries is committed to a future of innovation and diversity for our marine aquaculture. <laughs>